So we'll start just a little posture check first again. So feet about hip distance, toes pointing forwards, maybe move a little bit through your feet so you can spread your toes and make sure you feel balanced through your feet. And then lengthen through the muscles of the legs and then we'll lift the shoulders and maybe just drop them down your back again. So again, try and feel as if your shoulders are over your hips and you've got your knees over your ankles. So you're all nice and stacked. So we'll just start today just by reaching up with the arms. So when you're ready, just a big circle up and then circle back down. So we'll do that again. So just big reach up and then down. So we'll do that a couple more times. So just stretching and reaching and down. Okay, do that again. Now this time, if you want to, you do not have to, but if you want to, you could lift up onto your toes. So as you lift up, just come up onto your toes and then releasing back down again. So do that again. So lift up. It's, so try not to let the ankles or the knees drop out to the side. Keep it all pulling in towards the center. Excellent. We'll do that one more time. Well done. And release back down. So you can give your shoulders just a little roll. And from here, we're just going to bring the hands in front. And we're going to do a little crisscrossing action with your hands. If you can see my arms crossing over and then it's crossing under. Good. And then you can stay there, or if you want to, we're going to start to move down with the arms. And then we're going to start to move back up. And you can take it up higher if you want. So again, just moving down, just doing your own way. And back up. Good. And a couple more times, just warming up through the arms. And all the way down. And last one. Good, and uh, back down. So you can release your arms off first, maybe give your shoulders a little shake. Bring your arms back up. Now this time you're just going to press the palms as if you're kind of giving me a high five. So you're pushing your palms out. So just holding that, spreading your fingers. Just push away as if there's something in front of you. And then do that to the side. So just take it out and again, press away. So as if you're pushing out to the sides, relax the shoulders a little bit. And then this time, take the hands up. So again, pushing up. So as if you're pushing up towards the ceiling this time. And then release the arms down. Now keep the arms here. We're just going to point the fingers down and then flex the hands back up. So just moving down and up through the hands. Good. And then we'll circle them around. So just in one direction. And then the other way. Well done. Okay, release your arms again. Maybe give these shoulders just a little shake. We'll come into a squat position, so feet facing forward, about hip distance, and then just sink back into your squat and then push back up. So the chest is lifted, the belly is pulled down, the weight is back in your heels. Good. Okay, we'll do that a few more times. Uh, last time. Now come back up, this time reach your arms up. So you're reaching the hands just up. You can relax your shoulders here. Now as we bend the legs coming into the squat, your right hand's gonna to go to your left knee. So we're just coming into a little bit of a twist. Try and keep the legs the same. Reach back up and then do that the other way. So reach back up and the other way. So what we're trying to do is to keep our legs in alignment. So try not to let the knees kind of drop out, the weight back in your heels as you rotate over to the side a little bit. So take it down and back up, good. Down and lift back up. And we'll just do a couple more of these. And one more to either side. And last one. Okay, well done. Okay, come back up, release the arms. So from here, we're gonna do a little kind of swinging motion with your leg. So you're gonna stand on your right leg. Again, you could just take your toe and your heel, the toe and toe back. So you do toe forward, toe back. If you can, we're just gonna swing the leg without it kind of touching the ground. So we're just swinging the leg back and forwards, keeping that nice and balanced, keeping the belly pulled in. Well done. And a couple more times. And then keep it towards the front. This time we're just going to circle the ankle round. So just in one direction. Again, you could lower it down a little bit. And the other way. Well done. Now release that leg with the same leg. This time we're going to go out to the side. So again, you could touch the floor and bring it in. Or you can just move it out and in. So just whatever feels right. 
Try not to lean too heavily onto that right side, but keep your belly pulled in. Okay, and you can always hold on to a wall or a chair, that'd be better. And then hold the leg out. Now this time, point your toes and flex your foot. So just point and flex through your foot. Okay, two more. Last one. Hold up, release and relax. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. So again, weight slightly into that left leg, belly pull down, and when you're ready, either toe forwards, toe back, or that little sweeping move motion. And again, you could be quite free with that leg. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. It's entirely up to you. And hold on to something if you need to. Good. So just peeing off the hip a little bit. Two more. And then hold the leg forward and then just circle the ankle in one direction. Again, lower the leg if you need to. And the other way. Well done. So slowly bring that leg back in. So again, this time, either point your toes out, keeping contact with the floor, or maybe just swing the leg out and in. So belly pulled in, chest lifted. Good. Couple more. And then this time, hold the leg out. So when you're there, again, point your toes and flex your foot. And you can always take that leg down as well if you need to. Good, a couple more. Uh, well done. Okay, release that, give your legs a little shake off. So still standing with your feet hip distance apart. Still doing a little bit of balance, so you might want to still stay close to the wall. So this time we're gonna bring your feet together and the toes apart. So this is our Pilates stance, if you like. So it's kind of a bit like a penguin. So we're leaning on our right leg, belly's pulled in, and the left leg, you're gonna slide it so it comes up the leg, doesn't have to go that high, out to the side, back down and in. So it goes up the leg, out to the side, back down and in. Do that a few more times. Again, if you need to hold on to something, you can. And last one. Okay, we'll do one more because we're going to hold the knee up. So just hold the knee up. So again, you can place your foot and fall over onto your leg, wherever. You could even have it on the ground here. And all we're going to do is bring the knee forwards and then take it out. So the knee comes forward and out. The foot will move a little bit. And again, you could do this on the ground. But the hips stay forwards and the leg kind of moves within its joint but without moving the hip too much. Okay, do a couple more. And last one. And that could be still laid down. So again, give your legs a little shake. Come back in and try the other side. So again, feet, heels together, toes apart. So belly pulled in again when you're ready. Take that leg up, take it out, bring it down and slide it in. So it slides up the leg, moves out to the side, down and in. Do that a few more times. And again, you can stay really close to the ground. You don't have to lift the leg up too high. Good. Two more. And on the last one, we'll hold the leg up. So again, you might just lift it a little bit, you might lift it more. Draw the knee in and push it away. So the knee comes in and away. Good, so you might find it easier on one side than the other. Just see how it feels. Do two more. And last one. And well done, slowly release. And all that. Okay, this time we're just gonna go out to the side. So when you're ready, we'll step out towards the right side. We're gonna come over onto that leg and then we're gonna move away. And then we'll move on to that leg. And as you come away, you're gonna come into the center and you're gonna squat. And then you're gonna round your back and then you're gonna squat and you're gonna move all the way back up. Okay, we'll do that to the other side. So step out to the left. So move into the left leg and then move away from a little bit. So move into the left leg and then away. So step into the center, that squat position, round through your spine, squat once more, and then move all the way back up. So we'll do that again, out to the side. Good, and away. And then go again, go back in and then come back into the center. So squat, round through your back, squat and come back up. Good, take it to the left. 
So out to the side, press away from it a little, go back in, come to the center, squat, round your spine, squat, and all the way back up. We'll do that once more to either side. So take it out to the side first, go in again, come to the center and squat. Now round through your back, squat again, and come all the way back up this time. Go to the other side. So go in, come away, good, and then back into the center, round through your spine, and then all the way back up. Okay, we'll give your legs a little shake. So we're gonna have a little seat now, so when you're ready, just make your way down onto your mat, just take your time coming down, adjusting your device now as you're making your way down. Just so I can see a little bit more. Good. Okay, when you come into sitting, when we come into some um, roll backs, first of all, so we'll just sit with ourselves upright and then take your hands just behind the back of your thighs. So deep breath in, so lifting up nice and tall through your spine. As you breathe out, we'll round the back and just roll back a little bit. And then breathing in, make your way all the way back up again. So do that again, so breathing out, round your back, roll back, and breathing in to move back up. Now do that a few more times. If you want to, you can release the hands. So you're just rolling back and back up. But just take it to where you can. Always keep hold of your legs if you need to. Then we're gonna to start to reach back. So again, we're gonna go back and hold, and then you're gonna take one arm out to the side, whether it's on your legs or not, other arm out to the side. Bring both arms back in, and then start to make your way back up again. So again, breathing out, go back. One arm out to the side, other arm out to the side. Bring both arms back in, and make your way back up. Now keep that going, so again, the hands can be here on the side of your legs, you can just reach it away. You can even bring the other arm back in if that felt too much, taking both arms back out and then come back up. The arms can be reaching and you can do it here. And I've got one final option for you. So if you want to, you can take your hands around the back of the head. So again, breathing out to go back, arm out to the side, other arm out, both arms back in and then come back up. But again, just work where you can, where that feels best. You might not be able to roll back as far with the hands by the back of your head. It is the hardest one, so just work where you can with it. Okay, we'll do two more. Again, any variation. You can always change the arm that you reach out with. And we'll do one more. Well done. Okay, come back up. Now in this position, we're gonna flatten your feet a little bit. I don't know if it's the best side on or face on, but we're going to do, so you can have your hands just on top of your thighs here. We're just going to create what's called arches with your feet, right? Turn face on, you'll not be able to see very much. But basically we want to have your, thing, your toes acting like little suckers and you need to try and draw the arch of your foot up off the ground and then release it. So your toes act like suckers, you try and draw the arch of the foot off your ground and then release it down. So it's just really, again, trying to work through the muscles of our feet, which are really important to try and stabilize us and to keep us nice and healthy. So we'll do a couple more of these. And last one. Now done. You can release, you can maybe tap out your feet there if you'd like. Now for the next one, we're gonna to start to lift up through your feet. So you're coming up onto a nice tall position through your spine again with the belly pulled down. The hands again can be behind the back of your thighs. Now take a deep breath and as you breathe out, you're just gonna extend and lift through one leg. Breathing and lower it down and then change legs. So that is option one and you can see with that. If you can manage, you could take one leg up and then maybe lift the other leg up and then take both legs back down. Try and keep the back from moving. So you don't want to kind of roll back on this one. If you do, go back to the single ones. Good. And then if you want to, you could lift both legs up at the same time and lower them down at the same time. But again, just work your minute feels right to you. Release it down if you need to. You could even release the hands and do the same thing. But again, 
just when it feels right. Good, we'll just do two more, so any variation. And the last one. Well done, and you can release yourself forward. So we're gonna make our way down onto the mat. So again, maybe just take a roll back to get there. So hands behind the back of the thighs, maybe reaching forwards, deep breath in. As you breathe out, round your back, slowly and carefully, lower yourself down. Okay, when you get down onto your mat, we'll walk your feet in so that they're about hip distance, but they're quite close towards the bottom. Try and lengthen your spine a little bit, so really stretch from the crown of your head all the way down to your tailbone, and then try and get into a neutral position, so maybe tilting and arching your back a few times to come into that. We'll lift the pelvic floor, we'll draw the belly in. Take a deep breath, and as you breathe out, we'll just reach both arms just above the shoulders. Now, what we're going to do here is you're going to lift your shoulders off the ground without lifting the head. So deep breath in. As you breathe out, reach the hands and lift the shoulders and then lower them back down. So breathing out to lift up, breathing in to lower. So keeping the back in that neutral position, keeping the belly pulled in and the pelvic floor lifted as you lift the shoulders and keep the head down. Good, we'll do a couple more of these. And last one. Now this time we're gonna take hold of opposite elbows. So just bend your arms, take hold of opposite elbows. So you've got your arms kind of above you. And we're gonna do a little circular motion with this. So if you take your arms over your head and then take your right elbow out towards the right, circle round through the arms, keeping the head down and then move over to the left. So we're just creating a big circle. Now see what happens with your back here. So make sure you're still pressing down through that lower back as you circle and rotate through your arms. And again, just take it to where it feels right. You have to force it or move it too far in any direction. And then we'll start to change direction. So we'll go the other way. So the shoulders are moving, but the lower back is not and the hips are not. The upper back may move a little bit try and keep the rest of it nice and still. Okay, just do two more. And uh, last one. Well done. Okay, you can release your arms just down by your sides now. Come back into that neutral position if you've lost it. Again, lift the pelvic floor, draw the belly in. Now from here, take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, we're going to extend your right leg away. Now, we're going to keep it a little bit off the ground so it's not kind of flat down and the muscles are working. Breathe in and bend it, and then change legs. So do your left leg this time, and bring it back in. So making sure the hips are unmoving here, so all that's moving in the legs, just out, and then back in without touching the ground. Now if you want to, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same arm as leg here. So as your left or right leg moves away, the same arm moves overhead, and then back in. So again, we change, same arm as leg, so the arm extends behind you, the leg extends forward, and nothing at all happens to your hips. We're getting a nice stretch through your fingers all the way down to your toes. We're breathing out as we stretch away, breathing in to come back in, keep the hips as still as you can. Well done, we'll do two more of these. And last one. Excellent. Okay, release that down. This time again, with the feet flat on the floor, we'll start to do these little pelvic tilts. So as you breathe out, just tilt the pelvis forward. As you breathe in, move the hips back and arch your back. So breathing out, tilt forwards and back. So the feet are pressing on the ground. The legs are gravitating towards one another through the inner thighs. So you're not letting the knees drop out here. And then all we're gonna do is start to lift the back off the ground. So as you breathe out and tilt your pelvis, start to peel a little bit of the back up off the ground. As you breathe in, lower it back down, and then do that again. So breathing out, tilt the pelvis, start to reach and lift through your spine, and then lower yourself all the way back down again. Now keep that going, so just moving through this bridge, coming up to where it feels right to you. So it might be the shoulders, it might be the upper back, but we're definitely not coming onto the neck. And we're keeping everything balanced as you're moving. So you're pressing down evenly through each foot. 
you're keeping the legs and the hips nice and balanced and the shoulders nice and balanced. Okay, we're gonna do this twice more. Just warming up through your spine. And last time. Okay, when you make your way back down again, we're gonna lift one leg up. So you're coming into this knee bend position and then just draw the other leg up as well. So the legs are about hip distance apart. The knee is over your hip and the foot is in a straight line from your ankle. Now this time we're gonna lift the arms up. So again, we're coming into this kind of position where the arms are lifted, but the shoulders are down. So we're not lifting the shoulder blades off the ground. And this time we'll just start with the legs again. So again, you can keep your foot on the ground as you lower it down. And we're alternating legs. You can extend it away a bit, keeping the leg bent, or you can fully straighten the leg. And then if you want to, this time it's opposite arm to leg. So when you're ready, as the leg moves forward, the opposite arm, that one wrong, goes back and back in. So it's opposite arm to leg this time. So we're still getting the stretch from the fingers all the way down to your toes. We're still keeping the feet lifted, good, and the knee is over your hip. Very nice. So get that sense of stretching. Again, if it's too much, then reduce the length of the leg as it goes out. So shorten it a little bit by bending at the knee. Good, very nice. And try and keep the other leg. So the one you're not moving, try and keep it as still as you can. So not moving it at all. Good, very nice. And just work at your own pace. So you're breathing out, you're moving the leg away and you're breathing in. Now keep going on that for a few more. If you want to, you could do single, single, double here. So it would be opposite arm to leg, opposite arm to leg, and then both arms and legs. If that is too much though, then you're not gonna do that. You're just gonna stay on the singles. Okay, so it'll be single, single, double. Again, just work where you can, where it feels right. Well done. I'll just do a couple more of these. And last set. Well done. Okay, you can draw your knees back in towards your chest. Maybe take a little roll there. Take your feet flat on the ground again. So we're going to move back into that bridge again. So when you're ready, again, start to tilt your pelvis and peel the back up off the ground. So just coming up into that bridge position again. Breathing in, slowly release down. Now your option here, you could stay on the moving bridge. Otherwise, the next time you come up, we're gonna stay up. So we're gonna lift up. And then you're gonna lift up through your right leg. So try not to lean too much on the left, but lift your right leg up. Now we're gonna lower that just to level with your bent knee and then back up. So you could flex your foot as it comes down and point your toes as it lifts up if you want to. It's level with the bent knee and back up. We'll do one more of these. Now we're gonna change that. So you're gonna lower it down a bit more. So it's kind of mid calf and then push it back up. So flex your foot to lower, push it back up. Do that twice more. Keep everything else balanced as you do that. And then this time if you can, lower it down towards your ankles, all the way down all the way back up, so down and back up. Two more, and last one, well done. Okay, slowly lower that foot down and slowly lower down all the way down through your bridge. So we'll do that on the other side again, modify it however you need to. Take a deep breath in, as you breathe out, tilt your pelvis and come back up. Again, if you don't want to lift the leg or if you, you want to keep the leg bent, then do that. So breathing out, lift the left leg this time. So again, flex your foot, draw it down towards that bent knee, point the toes to lift it up. So you could just lower it down and up from here. You could even just hold it rather than moving it. Good. And then this time, lower it down. So halfway down your leg through the calf on that other leg. So again, flex the foot, point the toes to lift back up. Keep everything else balanced. Come to a bridge if it's too much. And then if you can, lower it all the way down, so sort of towards your ankle and back up. So down to the ankle 
and lift. Flex your foot. And one more time. And well done. Slowly release. And then make your way back down through that shoulder bridge. So take your time and release down. Okay, from there, we'll draw the knees towards your chest for a moment. Maybe take a little movement side to side there. Or circle around, whatever feels right. Okay, from here, we're going to come back in to that tabletop position. So we're going to lift one leg up and the other leg lifts. The hands are going to go behind the back of your head. Now, taking a deep breath in, we're just going to curl up here. So we're just lifting to the centre and releasing down. So we're lifting up to the centre and releasing down. So again, you can look at your belly button as you come up. Okay, do one more. Then we're going to move over towards the right leg. So we're just going to rotate over towards the right and back away from it. So just a little rotation over and back away. So the legs are still. We're not moving them at the moment. Do one more. And then we'll change. So we'll take it the other way. So take it over towards the left. Good. Again, try and keep the legs still as you do this. And they can always be on the floor if it's too much. And this time we're going to go over towards the right, but you're going to extend your left leg away. So coming in for this crisscross, back into the center. And then we'll do that again. So just over towards the same side and center. Do that twice more. And one more time. So we'll change and go the other way now. So over towards the left, the right leg extends away. And do that again. And do that twice more. And last one. So we'll change again. So this time for two. So take it over towards the right and over towards the right again. Now change and take it over towards the left and left again. So we're going to do one of each of these. So when you're ready, take it over towards the right and then over towards the left. So to the right. Good, now keep that going. If you do want a little bit more, as you move over, you're also going to reach the opposite hand over. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. So reaching over towards the right knee with the left hand and vice versa. Try and keep everything else still, remember, in your body. So the hips stay still. Well done. And just two more of these. Uh, last one. Well done. Okay, you can release and relax, draw your knees in. Maybe take a little roll side to side. Now for the next one, we're going to go side to side. So you can do this with your feet on the ground, or you can do this with your legs up. You can even glue your legs together if you want. And you can stretch your arms out to the side. So we're just going to tick tock over towards one side and back into the centre. So over towards the other side, back into the centre. And you're not going that far with it. If you want a little bit more, the legs move up and it's the same thing over to one side and back into the centre. And you can always bend your knees a little bit, keep the knees really bent if you want to. Now keep going with that as an option. You don't have to do this, but if you wanted to, you could circle. So you move over towards the right, move the legs down and then back up. And then we go the other way. So you go over towards the left, move the legs down and then back up. So over towards the right, the legs circle down and then back up. Over towards the left, circle down. And you could do this with bent legs. So over to the right, Circle down and back up and over towards the left. Without straightening the legs, you can keep them really bent as you do that. So just work where you can with it. Okay, very nice. <clears throat> okay, we'll do two more. And then release down. So again, maybe draw your knees towards your chest, maybe take a little roll. So we're going to do a double leg stretch now. So again, there are loads of options for this. So please just use the option that is best for you. So we'll start with the legs up at tabletop. So make sure you're back in this neutral spine, belly pulled in, and then lift both legs to this tabletop position. So for the first one, you could just stretch your arms. 
just by your sides without lifting the upper body. You can lift it if you want. And then as you breathe out, we're just going to reach the legs up and the arms can come over and then breathe in, back in. So the legs reach up, the arms reach over and then breathing in. If you want a little bit more, lift the upper body up off the ground. And as you extend your legs away, extend the arms without lowering the shoulders, breathing in to bend them. So breathing out and breathing in. So again, work where you can. And then finally, if you want to, you can circle the arms as well. So we breathe out and then circle them out and back in. So breathing out, circle and back in. And remember where you would take your legs to will define how difficult it is. So if your legs are straight up, it will be fairly easy. If your legs are a little bit further down, it'll be harder. And the closer you kind of get to the ground and the harder it will be without obviously touching the ground because then it'd be dead easy again. Okay, well done. Okay, we'll just do a few more of these to get into your time. And last one. Well done. Draw your knees in towards your chest, take a little roll. So that is a double leg stretch. So we're also going to do a single straight leg stretch. Again, with options, so modify it where you need to. So if you can, extend your legs up towards the ceiling. Maybe bend the legs. And you can bend the legs a lot here if you need to. So, you know, bend them to any degree. Upper body can stay on the ground. And if you're doing that, the hands go behind the back of your thighs. So where, where it, if your legs are straight, it's there. If your legs are bent, it's there. And then if you can, breathe out and lift the upper body, move your hands up towards your calf or your ankle. So again, it just depends where you're going with it. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, the leg you're not holding lowers down. Breathing in. As you breathe out, change legs. So breathing in, breathing out, change legs. Now keep going on that. Again, these legs could be bent. So we just extend the leg and pull the other knee in. Breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Okay, keep going with that. If you want a little bit more, you can change on your in-breath and again on your out-breath. So breathing in, breathing out. And then if you want a little bit more than that, then that little fast, puffy breath, we tap the back of the leg and we breathe in and out quickly. Good. And last set. Excellent. And last four. And well done. Slowly release and relax. Draw the knees in. Take a little roll. Well done. Okay, from there, we're just going to roll up to sitting. So again, hands by the back of your thighs, hands on your legs. Maybe take a few rolls and just go through or maybe just do one. It's up to you. Okay, when you come up to sitting, we're going to come into a long line position. So you could use your back of your mat to align your arm and your spine. So you've got a nice straight line. And again, you could come all the way down. You could rest your head in your hand. You could have your hands on your head. It's up to you. But try and align the back of your body. And then you can always bend your legs in a little bit. So bringing your feet maybe to the front corner of your mat if that feels okay. Now from here, we're gonna to start to lift a little bit through the side body and we're gonna keep the hips as stacked as we can. We'll bend the legs to start. We'll just have the legs nice and bent and that bottom leg on the ground. Lift your top leg up. Now from here, we're gonna do a little double pulse forward and a press back. So it's pulse, pulse, push it back. Pulse, pulse, Push it back. And if you don't need the top hand, you can take it away, but try and keep yourself nice and steady without the hips moving too much. So pulse, pulse, push away. Pulse, pulse, press away. Keeping the hips in line as you move that foot behind you. Now you can stay with that. If you wanted a little bit more, you can start to straighten that leg. So the top leg is straight. Bottom leg can still stay bent, or you might want to straighten the bottom leg as well. And again, this time with the toes, it's pulse, pulse, and then push it away. Pulse, pulse, and press it away. We're still keeping our spine long. 
Good, and we're keeping the leg just a little bit behind us without moving too much in the hips. Belly pulling in. Good, do a couple more. Push it away. Good, and last one. Now, keeping that leg lifted, again, you can still keep that bottom leg bent. You can straighten out, it's up to you. And we're just gonna create some small circles. So we're just gonna circle round and round with that top leg. So you're kind of moving forwards and then you're moving back. And it doesn't have to be big, but keep everything else nice and still. Good, and then change direction. So just move in the opposite way. Excellent, well done. And four more. Excellent. Now with your top leg, start to turn the thigh and the knee so it kind of faces up towards the ceiling. As you breathe out this time, we're going to take the leg up and then you're going to flex your foot to bring it down. So point the toes, lift up, flex and pull it down without leaning back here. So you start to lean back, make sure you're turning through the upper thigh, not through your hip. So the hips are still facing forwards towards the front. Well done, and just two more. And last one. Excellent. Okay, from here we'll bend the legs. So we're coming into a clam position. So again, your spine is nice and long and your heels should be in line with your hips at the back with the knees just stacked on top of one another and your feet stacked as well. We're gonna do a little clam, double clam leg, leg roll. So both legs lift. So as you breathe out, both legs lift up. As you breathe in, we lower them back down. So as you breathe out, lift up. And the hips will move a little bit here. So the hips are rotating as you lift your legs. But try not to use your hands. Try to use the muscles in your belly. So not the legs either. Squeeze the legs together and lift the legs up. Do one more. Now lift your legs up and hold them. And then with the top leg, just move the top leg away a little bit and squeeze it back in. So without it collapsing and without the bottom leg moving. Good, do two more. And last one. Now this time we're gonna extend the top leg. So you're gonna push it away and then bend it back in. So press it away and bend it back in. So a little bit like we did when we were on our standing position. Push it away and in. Push it away and in. Do two more. And last one. And well done. Slowly release the top leg, release both legs down. Okay, we'll push yourself back up and we'll come all the way around to the other side. So again, when you come in, maybe use the back of your mat, aligning your spine so you know your spine's in a straight line. And then maybe walk the feet forwards a little bit so we're kind of near the front edge of your mat. So we're kind of more in a banana shape rather than a straight line. And then bending your legs in. So we're going to start with that bent leg move. So lift the top leg away from the bottom leg. Keep them aligned and push it forwards and then push it away. So bring it in, in, push away. Good. So we're pulling the knee slightly in, we're moving it forwards. It might feel quite comfortable to stay with this and you can. Do a couple more. Good. Now from there, start to straighten the front leg the top leg, so straighten it out. You might keep that bottom leg bent, or you might be able to straighten it as well. So top leg again, point, point, and then flex to pull it away. So point, point, flex. Push, push, pull. And we're pulling it past our bottom leg. Good, but the hips stay still as you do that. Good, well done, just a couple more. And last one, well done. Now keep that leg lifted and we'll do some circles. So moving forwards and down, back and round. Okay, you don't have to be very big, doesn't have to be that fast. Just work where you can, keeping everything else still. And then change directions and move the opposite way. Good, so keeping everything else nice and still as you lift and circle round. Excellent, well done. 
Now keep that leg where it is. Again, start to rotate it a little bit. So from the upper thigh, try and get the knee in the top of the thigh facing towards the ceiling. And then just point your toes and flex to pull it back down. So point and lift, flex and pull. Without moving in the hips, keeping the belly pulled in. Okay, very nice. And you don't have to lift that high. Just take it to where you can. Do a couple more. And last one. Well done. Okay, slowly release. So we'll bend both legs. So again, it's this double leg clam roll. So you're going to keep your feet together, your knees together. You're going to use the side of your body as you lift the legs up and then release them back down. So keeping everything under control. Try not to just drop the legs down, but actually lower them down and lift them back up. Okay, well done. Do a couple more. And on the last one, we'll lift up and hold up. So moving the top leg away and back in. So take it away, squeeze it back together. Good. Keep that bottom leg still or as still as you can. Excellent. And then hold the top leg away. So from here, we're going to extend the top leg and then bend it back in. So extend it away, bend it back in. Extend and bend. Okay, well done. Do two more. And last one. Excellent. Slowly lower your top leg, slowly lower both legs down. Okay, from here, start to make your way up. So we're coming into a tabletop position, an all fours position. If you want to do this lying flat, then do that. We'll not be here terribly, terribly long, but we're gonna come in. We're gonna do a little bit through a plank position, a kind of moving plank. So you could do it on your elbows as well, and you could keep your knees on the ground. You don't have to lift your knees off the ground. But when you come in, we'll start to move a little bit through your spine first. So you might want to do this bit and then come down. So from here, we'll just start to just through your hips, just arch the back a little bit and tuck the tailbone under. Again, just warming up through that lower back area with the belly pulled in and just moving through the hip area. From there, start to come into a cat position. So just cat, round up. And this time just come to a flat back so you're not dipping all the way down. So just pushing through your hands, rounding through your upper back, drawing the belly in, and make your way back into that flat back. Okay, do one more of these. But this time as you come down, we're then going to arch your back. So we're going to drop the belly and start to pull the chest forward and through. So rounding through your back, and then start to pull the chest forward and through. Okay, we'll do that a couple more times. Well done. And then come back into a more neutral position. So we're not arching, we're not rounding, but we're in the center. Deep breath in here. And as you breathe out, just stretch one leg behind you. So you're just on the toes of the back leg and then move that leg back in and then change legs. So we're just extending one leg behind. Again, you could come onto the ground and just lift and lower through that leg if you want to. Now stay with this if this feels okay. Otherwise, you're going to extend one leg back and then the other leg back. And then you're going to lower one knee down and lower the other knee down. So we extend one leg back, other leg back, Lower the knee down, lower the knee down. But just do what you can. Good, and two more. And last one. Uh -huh. So from here, we are gonna lower down to the ground. So you might want to walk your knees back a little bit, take a little push up maybe, or you might just want to lower yourself all the way down to the ground. So just take your time moving down to where it feels right to you. When you come in, we'll just bring the hands under your shoulder, underneath your head, so cross them. Drop your head down, separate your feet at distance. We'll just warm up, doing our single leg lift. So belly pulled in, pelvic floor down. As you breathe out, one straight leg lifts, other straight leg lifts, and then both of them together if you can. So do that again, so single leg lift, 
other leg lifts and um, both together. So just do a few of these, just starting to warm up again through the legs, through the back of the body. Again, try and get that sensation of lifting your belly button up off the ground. Lifting a little bit of the thigh, but keeping the hips nice and steady. Okay, we'll do two more sets of these. And last one. Well done. Okay, from there, a few swans just to warm up through the upper body. So if you want to, you can take your hands on the ground, elbows down. So if you just judge where you need to have your hands, so they might be a little bit closer, they might be a bit further away. So again, imagine this marble on the ground, you can gently roll the marble away as you start to lift through your chin and your chest, and then start to lower all the way back down again. Again, push the marble away, start to lift through your nose, your chin, your neck and your chest, and release yourself all the way back down. So do that a few more times. Again, just gently lifting up and lowering down. Take your time. And you can stay with that. So you can just simply keep going with that. If you want a little bit more, then walk your hands back a little bit. So the elbows lift off the ground, but then squeeze the elbows towards the sides. Still imagine you're pushing that marble away, but you'll be able to lift a little bit higher. And breathing in to lower back down. So breathing out, push it away, and breathing in, lower down. Again, just work with it feels right. Good, very nice. You don't have to come up that high. Okay, we'll do one more of these. When you lower yourself all the way back then, we're now gonna bring your hands down by your sides. So as you come in, you could, you could keep your hands so the palms pressing down towards the sides, or you could reach the fingertips away, but we're gonna lift the upper body. So try and press the front of your toes down so the kneecaps lift a little pubic bone down, and then as you breathe out, either keep your hands down and lift the upper body, or maybe reach the hands behind you as you lift the upper body, but just whatever feels right. So breathing out to lift up, breathing in to lower back down. And if it feels too much, you can always bring your hands back around where they were when you were doing that swan position. Good. Now, staying with that, if you want to start to add some legs. So we're going to do a single leg lift. So as you breathe out, stretch the fingertips away, lift one leg as you lift the upper body, and then breathing into lower. And then just changing sides. So again, just working where you can with it. And then if you want to, you can lift both legs at the same time as you lift the upper body. Now, again, just work with what feels best to you. So single leg, both legs, legs in the upper body or legs without the upper body. You might just do legs only. Good, okay, we'll keep going with that. So again, just stay with what you've got if you want to. Otherwise, we're gonna add on a little bit. So we're gonna lift the upper body, we're gonna lift the legs and then we're gonna paddle the feet up and down. Maybe just do that for eight counts and then you can release down and then you could do it again. But again, just work where you can with it, where it feels right. So that single leg lift, maybe the little paddles with your feet. Okay, very nice. Okay, we'll do that twice more. So again, whatever option you're doing, And then you can just release yourself down, maybe bring your hands underneath the head again. Okay, this time we're going to take our arms wider again. So again, this flatten the floor with your hands with a, an alignment through your shoulder to your elbow and your elbow up towards your wrist. So we're going to take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, we're going to lift through the upper body a little bit. And as you breathe in, slowly lower back down again. So just lifting up and then take it down. 
Now you can stay with that. If you want a little bit more, you're going to lift up and then you're going to push to your hands. So you're coming up a little bit higher. And then you're just going to lower all the way back down. So again, deep breath in. As you breathe out, maybe just look to here. You can stay here. Maybe then press on your hands, lift up a little bit more, and then release down. But just work where it feels best to you. And then if you want to, at the top of that movement, you could do a little rotation through your neck. So again, we come up and then press through the hands. And then if you're there, you could turn the head just to one side, move it to the center and turn it to the other side, to the center, and then just lower yourself all the way back down. Again, if it doesn't feel right to do that rotation of the neck, then don't do it. Good. Very nice. Okay, we'll just do this twice more. So just take your time. Work where you are. So wherever you're working, just stay with that. Well done. And we'll do one more. Just again, just nice and easy. Either stay on your elbows or lift up. And then release yourself down. Okay, so when you come back down, we'll turn the head just towards the left side. And then if you start to bend your left knee and just draw your left, your knee up the side of the body. So you're just releasing through your low back a little bit. Make your way back to the center. So with the head and lower the knee and then turn your head towards the right, bend your right knee and slide it up alongside your body. Okay, slowly and carefully just push that leg back, turn your head to the center. And we're gonna use your hands now to push yourself up. So we're coming into a wide leg child's pose. So walk your knees in. If you can, take your knees fairly wide, but if it doesn't work, then just take it to where you can. Feet together, sit your bottom onto your heels, and then just stretch your arms out in front of you. So you can drop the head down to a block or to the floor. If it doesn't work, you can always bend your arms and just rest your head on your arms. Now from here, we're gonna stretch your shoulders. So if you take your right hand, and we're gonna take it underneath the left arm, and then again, if you can, turn your head towards the left. And you can keep your left fingertips in front of you, or you can lift up to your left arm and drop it behind your back. If that feels okay, then keep it there just to stretch through the shoulder. Change sides, so slowly and carefully release that left hand. Push yourself up a little bit first. You can stretch both arms back out in front and then take your left arm underneath the right arm. So again, as you do that, maybe turn the head, maybe reach up through your right arm and drop it behind your, your back. So you can lay it on your back, you can grab hold of your hip or your thigh. Okay, when you're ready, release the right hand, bring it in front of your face again, and slowly and carefully just push yourself back up. So from here, we're just going to come onto your back again. So you can lower yourself down in any way you want. We'll just do a little stretch on our backs. So lowering yourself down. We'll start off with the hips, first of all. So with your feet on the ground and your knees bent, we'll lift up through your right foot, so flex it, and then place it just on your left thigh. From there, you can just stay there, or you can lift your right left foot off the ground and pull the, pull the knee in. So you can take your hands by the back of your left thigh, if that feels okay. Okay, when you're ready, slowly release the foot down, but keep your legs crossed and then just drop both legs over towards the left. So we're taking a little stretch through the left hip again. If that doesn't feel right, then just uncross your legs. You can always stretch your arms out and look along your right hand if you like. And then when you're ready, we'll make our way back to the center. So again, just uncross your legs, we'll change sides. So left foot lifts, place it on top of your right thigh. 
Again, stay there, or maybe lift your right foot off the ground and take the hands behind the back of your right thigh. But only if it feels right. Okay, from there, slowly release your foot back down. So again, keep the legs crossed if you can, and then drop both legs over to the right. Maybe stretching the arms out again, keeping along your left hand. When you're ready, make your way back towards the centre. So uncrossing the legs, draw your knees towards your chest. So again, you can move a little bit if you'd like. And we'll come up to sitting. So you can come up in any way. You can roll over onto your side. You can roll up. Whatever feels best to you. So coming in just to your cross leg position, relax your shoulders. Maybe drop your chin towards your chest. And then just lifting the chin back up, we'll just drop the ear over towards one side. So again, try and release any tension you feel in your shoulders. And then we'll switch and go the other way. Well done, back towards the centre. This time maybe just roll your shoulders a little bit towards the back. And then again to the front. Excellent. Okay, that is you ladies. Thank you very much indeed.